Rhode Island, whenever there's a Greek issue that we're fighting for, whether it's in my state, across this country, I never hesitate to be on the forefront and lead the charge. I think what's important, ladies and gentlemen, as we stand today here celebrating the 90th day, 90th year of what happened to the Pontian Greek community, 385,000 were massacred. And we have to remember not just the 90th anniversary, but the 100th anniversary, the 125th anniversary, as we move forward. And I look around, I see some of the youngsters here, and I'm proud, also being a Greek American, that those youngsters took their time out of school, and we're not gonna say anything so they don't get in trouble with their principals. It takes a lot of commitment from the parents, from the teachers, to keep remembering the history of what happened 90 years ago. As we speak today, we should not forget also our Greek heritage, our language, our religion. And that's what's most important, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue the fight. We have a lot of issues regarding Cyprus, the Aegean, the Ecumenical Patriarch, Macedonia, but those issues are also important. But in my heart, when Dimitri Kozimidis from Boston asked me last year, can you introduce a resolution in Rhode Island for the Pontian people and the Pontian genocide? I'd even hesitate, ladies and gentlemen, because I know that it is an important issue, not just in Rhode Island for the Greek American community and in New England, but also for Rhode Islanders, the non-Greeks, to understand what occurred 90 years ago. To convey that history, to the non-Greek Americans across our country also. And that's how, ladies and gentlemen, we move forward on this issue and to make sure that Turkey, this modern Turkey that wants to join the European Union, understands that it has to acknowledge what took place 90 years ago with the Pontian Greeks, also our brothers, the Armenian community, and all the genocides. place many, many years ago, and also a recent genocide on the island of Cyprus. So again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I want to thank all the Federation presidents for the kind invitation, and I stand by you, whether it's here, in Providence, Rhode Island, and I also encourage all my colleagues across the United States to introduce the same resolution and continue it on for the future. Thank you.